and welcome to this week's feature interview. It's good to be back. Uh, today our guest is Mr. Russell Bird, and he is the Senior Director of Government and Public Affairs for Comcast Cable. Uh, Russell, it's great to have you on set. Uh, thank you very much for having me here today. Uh, interesting story on, on how you're here with us. Your daughter is actually visiting Emory & Henry. Uh, could you talk to us a little bit about the, what it's like being a parent of a prospective student? Uh, scary. Something <laughs> that probably uh, all of your parents know about. Uh, you know, it seems like she just started high school a couple of years ago, and now we've been uh, interviewing and going on campus visits and everything and uh, this is our third visit to Emory and Henry and uh, the first couple of visits there were no students on campus mm -hmm. so it was just us kind of walking around and the visits were fantastic but today uh, you know there's students here uh, in the studio in the cafeteria walking all over campus so it's just a great feeling today and we're just very very happy to be here right and get more of a feel what it's like uh, oh, yeah. you know when classes are in session mm -hmm. and, and things so uh, and I want to make sure she goes to class too right well that's <laughs> that's it's pretty uh, pretty imperative here if you're gonna mm -hmm. get good grades so uh, but also this is uh, you know you're you're not unfamiliar with Emory and Henry uh, in, in a different realm, and that is that you work with us on, on EHC TV about putting us on Comcast Cable. Can you talk to us about your duties with Comcast and uh, how it relates to us? Yeah, well, you know, first I met Dr. Keller probably five or six years ago, and um, I've been very fortunate to do a couple of uh, interviews with her at the radio station. This is my first time uh, doing a, an interview on the TV station, but, you know, we, we um, provide some funding uh, for the department. Uh, we've actually built fiber. Uh, installed it on campus so you have connectivity to different locations uh, right. uh, around the campus and then uh, just a year ago uh, Dr. Keller and I sat down and started talking about video on demand and how many of our customers are actually watching content on demand versus watching it live when it's actually on so we came up with this concept of taking Emory and Henry programming and creating a spot so if you if you click 001 on demand right and then you see a little tab on there that says get local you click on that and then you open it up and there's a menu there that says Emory and Henry College and if you click on that there's baseball games there's football games and just all of the content things that you guys do right here in the studio Dr. Keller sends it to me on a DVD we download it and everyone in our footprint here in Southwest Virginia is able to see it but not only that, it's seen in Johnson City, in Greenville, it's seen in Norton, Virginia, and then it's seen in Knoxville. So I have uh, alumni from Emory and Henry come up to me all the time and go, I just noticed the football games were on or other content's on. So we're real excited about that. Right, and that's something I just learned. So if you're watching us on Comcast Cable, if you can't catch us on uh, Wednesday and Thursday nights, you can also you can uh, catch us on uh, on demand anytime. So uh, that's that's through your cable box, and that's, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, so glad to learn that today. That's one of the benefits of having you as an interview. Yeah, we usually keep the content on there for about six months. Right. And then um, as we fill it up and, and move other things on, uh, we do that. But, you know, right now we have over 100,000 hours of video on demand wow. content every month, with about 80% of that being free. And we're continuously looking for opportunities to add more local content. So, I mean, we have this, we have a couple of talk shows from Knoxville that we have on. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a, a, a wide variety of programs, and it's, it's incredibly popular with our customers. Right, and you mentioned, uh, you said the number of people who are watching traditional cable versus the number of people who are watching on demand, and that was a big reason why you put us on there. Could you enlighten us as to what those numbers are? You know, right now, I would say about 80% of our customers, and in this, this portion of Southwest Virginia and East Tennessee, we have in the neighborhood of about 300,000 customers. Mm -hmm. And 80% of those have a digital box that they are able to download that content or watch on-demand content. And we have, on average, about 10,000 hits per day that people are watching. And it's really, really funny. Uh, we reached a milestone of a million hits seven years quicker than iTunes did. Wow. So when you think about all the content and the songs and everyone, the, everything that they're downloading, we reached that level, I mean, significantly sooner than they did. So people are watching it all the time. People are busy. I mean, like you, for example, I mean, you're in class and you, you may be somewhere at, at night or at a function and you don't get to see a favorite episode of a TV show. And the next day, you can go in on demand and watch it. Uh, limited commercials, obviously, but uh, customers watch it and uh, it's, it's proven to be probably one of the 
the items that we say causes customers to stick with us more than anything else. I mean, we have competition with Bristol, Virginia Utilities here mm -hmm. in this marketplace. We compete daily with DirecTV and uh, Dish Network. So having that type of content for us that, other, that those providers don't have is why customers stay with us. And I'd like to think that a lot of people stay with us in the Saltville, Chilhowee, Washington, Smith County areas because they're able to see what you're doing right here at Emory and Henry. You don't get that anywhere else. Right, and, and uh, that's something obviously we would like to thank you for, but uh, also, uh, you know, in, in terms of expanding maybe the way in which we can, uh, we can reach customers, uh, Dr. Keller has mentioned uh, to both of us about perhaps moving us to channel three. Right now we're on channels 70 and 95. Um, uh, what would that process be like, and is that a possibility? Uh, well, right now, Channel 3 is uh, franchise required by the town of Abington. So it, it's in their agreement with us for them to have a low-tier channel. Mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily speculate that they have to be on Channel 3 or anything else. It just has to be on the lowest tier of service. Um, I'm having conversations with Dr. Keller that will get you hopefully a more favorable channel than Channel 70. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that we're also talking about is instead of you having that channel on a limited access basis, having it on a, a more full-time basis. So everything that you would see on that channel would be programmed by you guys here at Emory & Henry. And um, I mean, that's quite an undertaking. I mean, you think about an NBC network or an ABC, CBS, Fox, or even PBS, I mean, they have millions of dollars in their budget to program a channel 24 hours a day, or even on a PBS perspective, less than that. And uh, you know, we're wanting to give that opportunity to Emory and Henry to do the same thing. So, you know, some of it obviously will be character generated uh, mm -hmm. with messages that are, you know, things that are going on in the community that everyone in Southwest Virginia will see. But it also gives you the, the capability of doing live programs when you want to be live or tape delay in longer periods of programs. So uh, I'm really excited about that. There are a couple things uh, that I need to work through. To, to make that happen, but we're real close. And, okay. uh, and you know, this is something that's really funny, just Dr. Keller and I were just having lunch a couple of weeks ago and it just kind of popped up out of nowhere. You know, what can we do from Comcast perspective to help you more with uh, the TV station or the radio station? And just through a little bit of brainstorming that, that came up. Right, uh, and, and what kind of experience would that be for students who maybe want to go into, into cable and, and into that? Would that be basically what you guys do at Comcast? Would that prepare us for a job? You know, we, we didn't have any content-driven um, channels a couple years ago. And then mm -hmm. two years ago, Comcast bought NBC Universal. Okay. So now we have the NBC, uh, we have Bravo and USA Network and several other networks. We, were, we had Golf Channel and maybe a couple of small regional networks, but it's really opened the door for us to be more content-driven. But to answer your question, I think sitting right here like you're doing today. You're getting experience that a lot of people don't have. And then if you want to go in the broadcast business, say it's with the Golf Channel, or say it's with NBC Sports, or say it's with your local ABC or CBS affiliate, you actually have that experience that you're gaining right here today that a lot of other people don't have. So I, th I think what you're doing here is just absolutely great. Um, you know, we were laughing a little bit earlier about you know, sports, don't ask me any sports questions or who's on first or that sort of thing. But you know what, you get the, you get real life experience here that uh, you can't put a price tag on, it's priceless. Right, and, and a lot of that is thanks to you and unfortunately we're out of time, but we would like to thank you, Russell, and, and uh, every, everybody at Comcast for allowing us to, to be on, on cable and, and for allowing us to get experience doing this show. So uh, thanks for joining us today and we're, we're glad to have you. Well, thank you for wanting to do it. Well, that'll be it for your feature interview uh, now we're going to send it over to an out and about.